All right, here we have a line clotted for who knows how long. Uh, even though the dressing was changed, the line obviously has not been flushed for a very long time. This is extremely resistive. All right, so putting a good amount of force, very extremely, extremely resistive. Show you guys how to do the cat flow. The pharmacy brought us two doses. That's exactly sometimes how much I think that's what's gonna take. So about two hours for each. Hopefully it'll be less, but we'll see. So here we have the stopcock applied. I have a syringe. I'm going to apply negative pressure to create a vacuum in that line as much as I can and then I'm gonna turn the stopcock to my site and then let that kick in and then I'm just gonna repeat back and forth and kind of go like this okay that way I can agitate the liquid to touch all the clotting little by little give it time to erode uh, some of the fibrin development I, I believe how I like to do things is have the plunger standing sitting up so that when I suck in, there's that little bit of air bubble actually came from here. We're gonna try that again, give me one second. So as you can see, I have no air bubbles now. I'm gonna close off this side. Okay. I'm gonna suck in whatever space was left in here and exchange it with the cath flow. That way it starts touching that site. If you really want a quick cheat, what I'll do is just let it pop and use that agitation to exchange gas for liquid. Just let it pop. That way it'll push and force the liquid further in. And as I'm doing that, you can see here It's already, you could see the movement of the liquid going in and out and exchanging. There we go, do you guys see that? Before there was absolutely no movement, now look. Now there's some movement, look at that. So the TPA, the cath flow is actually working now. Look at that. There's like zero movement in that catheter. Now, even just with a couple seconds of TP of cath flow, there's already movement. So, and you can see definitely. So we're gonna keep doing that. Let it agitate inside of the blood so it can exchange for um, broken down clots for the cath flow. And look at that, just a couple of pumps here and there, not even, not even 10 minutes, look at that.